Aloha and welcome to Moonscopes Astrology. I am putting together a quick little video. Um, this is a very important um, Mercury uh, retrograde in Scorpio and I just thought I would give a review um, and explanation about it as I think it will be helpful for you to have this information. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to talk about how Mercury retrograde you know how its retrograde in Scorpio will affect your life and also I'll talk about what it means when we say a planet is direct or retrograde and how you can benefit. I'm your host intuitive astrologer KG Styles in prof professional practice since 1980. Moonscopes is sponsored by pureplanessentials.com, organic aromatherapy and healthmasterysystems.com the place to go for your transformational healthcare needs including astrology sessions with me. I really appreciate all your comments and love hearing how things are going for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you also for telling others about the show, liking and subscribing to them. I wanted to tell you about this Mercury Retrograde uh, oil and gemstone formula that I have, that I've formulated. It's a custom essential oil blend to help prevent and cure disruptions in the electromagnetic flow that can happen during a mercury retrograde. The mercury retrograde oil and gemstone formula supports smoother, easier communications. And you can find out more by clicking on the mercury retrograde formula link below this video. Okay, so what does Mercury retrograde mean for you and specifically how will Mercury retrograde in Scorpio affect your life? And what does it mean that a planet is going direct or retrograde? Well, from a geocentric Earth-centered perspective, there are periods of time when planets appear to be going in a direct or retrograde motion. The direct phase of a planet is a time period when you experience the effects of a planet's influence being in forward direct motion. This is a time period when you feel like you're covering new territory for exploration and discovery related to that planet, to the planet. For instance, the planet Mercury rules your thinking and the way you connect and communicate. So when Mercury is moving forward, there's an easier flow for your connecting with others, networking and communications, and your thinking is clear and decisions come more easily. I liken a planet's forward direct motion like a planetary in-breath when you're taking in new information. As a planet stations to apparently from the Earth's perspective move retrograde, the planet slows down. As the planet, say for instance Mercury, slows down, your thinking becomes less clear and you naturally begin to want to take more time to review all the ground you've covered in your thoughts and connections with your outer world since the last retrograde phase. I liken a planet's retrograde time out period as a time when the planet takes an out breath. Now you're given an opportunity to assimilate and digest all the information acquired during the previous direct phase. The retrograde phase is a more intuitive phase when the planetary influence is felt more internally. Some say the planet is asleep during its retrograde phase. However, during the retrograde phase, a planet is actually closer to the planet Earth and thus exerts more electromagnetic force upon your psyche. For people who are sensitive and intuitive, this phase may be felt more strongly, while more driven people who are less sensitive to subtle energies may simply feel bogged down like they're spinning their wheels and can't get things moving. The retrograde phase is the most internally active period for a planet's influence upon you for change and growth. So to recap, during a planet's direct phase when it is moving forward, the pace of your life related to the planet is accelerated and new challenges and opportunities come into your life. When a planet stations retrograde, it is said to be asleep because it is less outwardly active. It is time to relax and review the area of your life where the planet is located. As you know, when you are asleep, you are actively integrating your life experiences from your day. When you awaken, you feel refreshed and renewed. The retrograde period is a phase of reviewing your life, integrating and healing yourself. With Mercury Retrograde, you review your perspective and thinking about matters related to the area where Mercury is retrograde. 
plans may fall apart or you may reconnect with someone from your past. Old habits of mind may resurface for you to assess and completely eliminate from your life. Your intuitive mind deepens. When Mercury is retrograde, it's a great time for making intuitive connections between things and between yourself and others. Mercury retrograde is often a time when you recover something that you had thought was lost or have opportunity to settle outstanding debts, resolve issues with people from your past. Mercury retrograde is a great time to finally assess and know what isn't working for you any longer. And when Mercury stations direct, you begin to make progress, act, and integrate on your new intuitive understanding about what needs to change. Your personal planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, are symbolic of your personal life story. Whereas the social planets, Saturn and Jupiter, help you negotiate between your personal life story and the collective drama at large. Saturn and Jupiter are allies that help you define your place and establish your sense of belonging in your family and society. The transpersonal planets, or outer planets, the ones you cannot see with your naked eye, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, are related to the collective unconscious that's being integrated by all of humanity during the retrograde phase. The direct and retrograde phases of the planets act like a combination lock to evolve your consciousness over time. Think of the direct planetary motion as turning the combination lock to the right, while the retrograde planetary motion turns the combination lock to the left. These methodical movements of the planets act to deepen your awareness and intuition and unlock the powers of your own divine wisdom. Eventually, through this dance of the planetary direct and retrograde phases, you become fully self-aware, achieve self-mastery and freedom to perfectly shape your destiny. So, what does Mercury retrograde in Scorpio mean for you, and how will Mercury retrograde in Scorpio affect your life? With Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, you will be, you will be doing a tremendous amount of detective work. Research is an excellent way to focus your conscious mind at this time. It's a great time to reassess what's working and what's not working for you in your perceptual system, specifically in the area of your life where Mercury retrograde is located. You'll review and reevaluate how you're connecting with others, getting on in the area of your life where Mercury is located. When Mercury goes direct on November 10th, you'll begin to implement changes and make progress in this area of your life. With Mercury and Scorpio, you enjoy digging for the gold, mining the truth, and the details of your life. You'll be intent upon getting to the heart of the matter, especially where your emotions are concerned, as Scorpio is an intensely emotional sign. You want all the intimate details revealed to you, so you can make necessary improvements. Mercury retrograde in Scorpio is an opportunity to rethink and revisit how you commit yourself in the area of your life where Mercury is located. Are you overcommitted? over giving or, or do you need to per persevere longer for desired results? Mercury is conjunct Saturn and the North Node at times throughout its retrograde phase, as well as in a nice sextile to Pluto and Mars and trying to Neptune and Chiron and Jupiter and Lilith. So there is a tremendous amount of territory in your human psyche that is being unearthed. Your mind is digging for the gold and being supported by some major players in the zodiac to help you achieve your aims at this time. Also, during Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, it will quincunx Uranus, the awakener, also retrograde. Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury. Both govern the electromagnetic flow in your physical body, so there could be extreme fluctuations in your electromagnetic flow and your emotions during this retrograde phase of Mercury. As I said, Mercury in retrograde is sextile to Mars and forms the base of a finger of fate or destiny with the apex being in Uranus and Aries. The area of your life where Uranus and Aries is located may suddenly uh, be opened to a positive turn event of events out of the blue. This feels destined and is life altering. Mercury ruler of Virgo, where Mars is currently located, is the magician and can transform situations in your life through mental focus. Mercury's retrograde in Scorpio will uncover blocks and may have prevented you from using your power of thought to transform in the past. Mercury is the ruler of your throat chakra and supports your, you to communicate your truth effectively, sending a clear signal about who you are and your intentions into the world.
Having a clear, strong signal about who you are and what you intend to create is essential. There are always people who have their own agendas they wish you to serve which can disrupt your manifesting potential. Mercury's retrograde in Scorpio, Scorpio will help you to correct this if it has been an issue for you in the past. Be willing to go deep and persevere through the deepest, darkest, most passionate regions of your soul and you will you, this time period will bear great fruit for you. The result of your excavation will be priceless. Of course, how Mercury retrograde affects you is always individual to you and a personal reading to review your astrology chart can be helpful. Right now you can order a one hour special eclipse report and save 40%. Uh, click the, the link below to find out more or to order. Please leave your questions and comments below. I always love hearing from you. Let me know how things are going. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, relax and enjoy your life. I'm your host, Intuitive Astrologer, KG Styles.